Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a coloring book using ChatGPT. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Katherine Westbrooks. I'm a former classroom teacher and now stay-at-home mom who has lots of different side hustles that I like to pursue, so I'm here to share those with you. If you like passive income and making money from home, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. With that being said, let's go ahead and share my screen and get started. So I'm on ChatGPT. I do have the paid version. I think it's $20 a month. For the longest time, I've had the free version, ChatGPT's new image generation software, which we're going to use today. That made me finally convert to the paid plan so I started paying for it I think in April trust me it's well worth it to just pay that $20 a month I started by asking ChatGPT what are the best coloring book audiences and I gave it some examples so ChatGPT broke down some different audiences that I can target for my coloring books and this is really just to brainstorm. So since 4th of July is coming up, I'm going to do 4th of July. Okay, so I'm on Amazon now and I'm just typing in 4th of July coloring book. If you're wondering what this software is right here, Titans Pro, it's what I use for my keyword research. This is paid. I'm going to show you part of it that's free in a second, but the Titans Pro version is a paid software. I do have an affiliate link down below if you would like to get Titans Pro. I really will only ever promote products to you that I actually use. And this is one that I really use for every book that I create. I get the best keywords and it's a really great tool. So I will have the free and paid version linked down below. What this does is it tells you the Amazon search term, the search volume, the search results, and the demand and the opportunity. So ideally you want green, green. So I just sorted it by demand right here. I click this arrow and it sorts it from either lowest demand, highest demand. And then over here on opportunity, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do highest to lowest. So now we can see it's sorted by the green green, so the highest demand and the highest opportunity, meaning high search volume and low search results. So I'm going to go right here to coloring books 4th of July because that's the highest search volume and click it. Now this right here that you see the Titans quick view, this is free. If you just go to the Chrome store and you type in Titans quick view, this is a free Chrome extension. Okay. So this gave me a five demand and then eight opportunity. So basically high search volume and low search results. So it's a low competition niche. If you're wondering about the product details that pops up, that's part of the Titans quick view extension. This Chrome extension is really nice because it can tell you lots of information about the book from just a glance. So this independently published means that it is an Amazon KDP book, meaning someone just like you or I published this book. It tells you the date that it was published and the current rank. So this book was just published on May 6th, so not even a month ago, and already is selling pretty well. Now, just to give you an idea of how well this book is selling, I'm going to take this information and put it into self-publishing Titans BSR sales calculator. This is a free tool as well. If you just go to tools, general KDP tools, it's this one right here. So this book has a BSR or a bestsellers rank of 114,700. So I'm putting in that number right here, 114,700. I put in how many pages are in the book and the price and press calculate. So this book is selling about three sales per day, a royalty amount of $1.29. So not a high royalty amount, but this just shows that books that are newly published can still make sales. This one right here, we'll look at two hundred and nine 109 pages, $7, 124, 356 for the bestsellers rank and put in $7 for that book and press calculate. So that book also makes about three sales per day and then $1.90 in profit. So about $6 per day. Now it's only June 2nd as I'm recording this video, so it's not even 4th of July yet. Now these three top selling books for the 4th of July are all aimed towards kids. I'm back on ChatGPT and I just said, I'm creating a kid's 4th of July coloring book. Can you give me 50 coloring page ideas with the prompts included? I want these images to be simple and fun for kids to color. And just like that, ChatGPT is generating ideas for me to use in my coloring book. So now all I'm doing is I took that first prompt, the smiling American flag waving in the breeze, I put generate an image of, and then I copy and pasted the prompt that it gave me. And I just included simple illustration outlines for kids coloring book. Okay, now here's the image that ChatGPT gave me. And this took about 20 seconds to create. Now, if you don't like the face on the coloring page, or if you want to change it, you can always just regenerate. The nice thing about the paid plan is that there's no image generation limit per day. They do have timeouts. If you generate images too quickly, it'll tell you to wait a minute or two before you start generating it again. But there's no limit as to how many images per day like there is with Midjourney or other image generation sites. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the next prompt. So I just copy and pasted what I did before for the first prompt, and then I'm just going to add in the second prompt. So I'm just going to highlight the first prompt right here and then put bald eagle wearing sunglasses and holding a flag. So here is our second image and this looks great to me. Now, if you didn't like something about the image, I'm going to show you how you can edit it. So if you click on the image, go over here to the select tool 
or you can just type in right here in the box. So you can select, like if I don't like these clouds right here, I can select it and then I can type remove cloud. And as you can see, the image is just regenerating without those clouds that I wanted to remove. So it's super nice with this image generation software because you can give it feedback and it adjusts in real time. Now I did insert this little box right here, which is strange. I can easily just take that out in Canvas. I'm not gonna worry about it, but with any AI image generation software, you'll have just weird things that happen with the different images. But this is by far the best image generation software that I've used. So it's not even close compared to other ones I've used. I love these images the best. They're the most consistent and the best for coloring. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat this again with another prompt. Copy and paste what we did before and to do the third prompt right here. Now it's probably a lot easier to put all of this in some kind of like Google Doc or a note on your phone or something or on your computer. So you can just copy and paste and not have to scroll up every time. I'm just showing you for this video, but normally I'd put this in like a note on my Apple computer so I can just have it side by side and I can copy and paste easily. But we'll just keep doing this for the sake of the video. Okay, go ahead and press generate. Okay, so here's our next image. This took about 20 seconds to create, so not a long time at all and they're such good images. So I would just repeat this process all the way through and go through all of the image generation prompts. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next step to create the cover. So I'm gonna download this image and download the bald eagle image. I don't really like the American flag image. If I were actually publishing this book, I would regenerate this and not have the face included. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do these last two images that we generated and show you what I would do next. Okay, so on Canva, I'm just creating a new canvas, an eight and a half by eight and a half inch size canvas board. I chose that size because eight and a half by eight and a half because that's a popular trending size on Amazon right now. And this best selling book right here that was published on May 6th is eight and a half by eight and a half. So I'm just gonna go with that option. I'm going to press create new design. Now I just imported the bald eagle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magic eraser and erase this box right here. That was where the cloud originally was and I don't know why that box is there now. I'm going to go ahead and erase it and now it's gone. Okay so if you don't like something about the image or ChatGPT doesn't erase it the way you would like it to and it's easy for you to just do it in Canva, I would just do that just to save yourself some time. I'm going to go ahead and re-download this now that it's edited the way that we want. I'm going to download as a PNG. Now I'm back in ChatGPT and here's what I'm going to do. I'm giving it a prompt. Can you colorize this image? Keep all details the exact same. Now you have to re-upload the image that you want it to colorize. I've tried doing it where I just ask it with the image that I just generated and I get a lot better results if I actually upload the image. So here's my prompt and you can see I just went into my files and I uploaded the picture that I just downloaded. So this exact picture of the hat. I downloaded it and then just re-uploaded it right here. Okay, and as you can see, after about 15 seconds, my hat is being colored. Okay, so here's my colored version of my hat. Now, I don't like how this part of the hat right here is red and not white because it would make more sense if it was every other color, red, white, red, white. And I could ask ChatGPT to fix that for me, but I'm going to show you an easier way that will just save you time. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and I would take it over here to Photopea. It's a free online version of Photoshop. This is what I use to edit my images. I'm gonna to go to the paint bucket tool right here and I'm going to select the color. I'm gonna just do white, so it's already selected. And then right here, I'm going to click and it's gonna color that section white for me. So I can adjust this if I wanted to, if I wanted to do blue instead. I go right here to the color dropper or the eyedropper. I click on the color that I want. So if I want to do yellow, then I go back to paint bucket tool. See how the yellow is right here on top. That's how I know that's the color that's selected. And I would just click where I want it to be yellow. And then if I want to change color, I go back over here. I click on the yellow at the bottom. I go to white, click OK. And then the paint bucket tool is already selected. I just click it again and it's going to change the color. Now I think also the rim of the hat should be red. So I'm going to go ahead and go to eyedropper, select red, and then go to paint bucket tool. The red is right here on top. So that's the color that's selected. I'm going to choose red for the bottom of the hat. So this color scheme I like a lot better. Now I'm going to download it as a PNG and then upload that into Canva. So now you have a colorized version of an exact coloring page for your coloring book. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the bald eagle image. So back here, I'm going to copy and paste my prompt. Can you colorize this image? Keep all details the same. And I uploaded the edited version from Canva that we took out that square. That's the image that I upload right here into ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT added some kind of red band right here behind the sunglasses and didn't really fully connect the sunglasses right here. So I just told ChatGPT there is a band behind the sunglasses that is not in the image I uploaded. Please keep all details the exact same. Can you colorize this image? Keep all details the exact same. 
phone. And I'm going to see if it can fix it. Okay, so this looks much better. Here's my updated image after I told ChatGPT of the error that was in the first image, this band behind the sunglasses. I re-uploaded the same image, and then here's the second one that I got, which looks much better. So I'm going to download this. Okay, so back in Canva, we have our two images that we generated. Again, for a real coloring book that I was actually publishing, we would have closer to 40 or 50 images in total. But here's what I would do next. Now I'll just make these a little bit smaller by just resizing them. You can also add a border if you want to. To add a border, you would just click on one of these shapes, make the color inside transparent, go to stroke, and make this a little bit thicker. And then you would just place this around your image to create a border. And then you can just copy and paste that on the next image as well until your book is done. Now for the cover, here are the two images that we colorized, and I'm going to do background remover. Okay, and then from here, after you have your two images, now you can change the background color. Okay, so when I removed the background color, it removed the color from inside of the flags too because it's white. So I'm just going to restore what we erased. So right here, so click on it, I go back up to the background remover and then close to restore. And then I just color in the area that I want to keep color. Even though it's white and it's the same with the background, I want to keep this background color for the hat. Okay, so now here are my two images, which makes it really easy to create your coloring book cover because you have two actual images from your coloring book to use for your cover. Now, my daughter is almost up from her nap, so I can't go through the entire creation process for the cover and all of that. There's a ton of other videos that you can watch on how to do the sizing and everything for the cover, but here's how I use ChatGPT to create coloring books. I start with a research tool, I get ideas, and then I use ChatGPT to create the images. I also use ChatGPT for keywords and titles and descriptions as well. I can go into that more in my next video if you would like to see that, but I just wanted to show you how to create the images, the prompts that I use, and then also how to get colorized versions of your images for your coloring book covers. All right, everyone, that's how I use ChatGPT to create my coloring books. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Let me know in the comments what videos that you want to see from me next, what questions you have. I'm happy to answer them for you. Thanks for staying until the end, and I will see you in the next one.